Much different picture here from the Mission Ridge camera as we take a look at our conditions and turn to meteorologist Cedric Haynes here in the studio. Cedric, of course, typical summertime patterns, hot, humid with those chance of pop up showers. Yeah, Latrice, it's definitely going to be a summer like pattern across the area. As we look over downtown, we're seeing a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures already at 87 degrees, but the dew point currently at 74. So a very tropical feel to the air as you step out the door, giving us a heat index right now in the mid 90s. And I expect that number to continue to climb as we progress throughout the afternoon. Here's a look at some of the other temperatures across the area. You can see it's 86 in Athens, 86 in Cleveland. We've got 91 currently in Dalton for the warm spot, 83 in Fort Payne. Our friends over in Jackson County, 84 degrees currently in Scottsboro. Now, as we look at the radar picture again, you're going to be able to see here we've got some fairly quiet conditions out there for most places. So if you're getting ready to head out for a quick lunch break or anything like that, the weather is looking pretty good for 99.9% .9 of us. There is one tiny pop up shower right here along the Alabama Georgia border here as you get just to the east of Eider over towards Valley Head. This is in the portions of uh, DeKalb County right along the 59 corridor there. We're seeing a quick downpour showing up there. Now it's producing some heavy rain there, but if you're driving, that's probably going to last about all of maybe five minutes or less and then you're going to be out of that. So that's the type of pattern that we're going to be watching for as we go into the afternoon hours. The big view will show us we've got an upper level low down to the south and that's trying to spin in some moisture off the Atlantic and out of the south and east. So with that system to our south, we're going to watch for the potential of some of that moisture to help spark off a couple of isolated showers and storms as we go into the afternoon hours. Again, not going to be a widespread rain event, very similar to what we saw yesterday afternoon, but the chance will exist for some of those pop up showers and storms and then notice we've got this upper level low down to the south uh, that will also continue to spin in that moisture along the Gulf Coast. So the overall weather pattern shows us that upper low down towards the Gulf. And again, it's aiding and spinning in some of that moisture off of the Gulf of Mexico, off of the Atlantic Ocean. And so even though we're not looking at widespread rain coverage across the area, the chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms will exist over the next few days. So as we take a look at future cast here, we're going to walk you through this pattern as we go throughout this afternoon. Notice by late today, a couple of pop up showers. Again, not a lot of, of rain showing up on the map overall, but there will be a couple of isolated showers and storms out there. Can't even rule out a couple of showers and storms overnight tonight. And then going into your Thursday, we'll see another chance of those pop up showers and storms, and that will extend into your Friday as well. But Friday heading into the weekend, we're going to notice a more widespread coverage of showers and storms and notice some of the yellows and reds popping up as well. So that indicates the potential of some maybe heavier rainfall out there. So as we look at the overall rainfall map, you'll be able to see not so much, just some light amounts here through the end of the week, but by the weekend, we'll start to add on to that and the potential of maybe some heavy pockets of rainfall showing up across parts of the area. Overall, it's hot here in the southeast, but the hotter weather, the big heat dome is shifting off to the west, so that's where the big time heat will stay as we go throughout the next couple of days. So our temperatures right around average for this time of the year, upper 80s to lower 90s. And that looks to extend into next week, but the humidity also looks to extend into next week, so it's not going to feel too much more on the comfortable side. As look at your forecast for highs today, near 100 degrees, or at least for the heat index, highs in the lower 90s. And as we take a look at that Storm Alert 7 day forecast, you'll see isolated storms, but better chance heading into the weekend. Latrice? Thank you, Cedric.